everyone, Lisa here from Pretty Fabulous. Super excited because today I'm going to walk you through how to edit the daily digital planner. When I say digital planner, I mean the one for GoodNotes. You could also use it for Notability. You could use it for Procreate or for Paper 53, any of those applications that have uh, the ability to use clickable tabs. So you can also use these clickable tabs on your desktop. If you just click any of these tabs, it will jump you to that spot inside of the planner, just like magic. It's also a good place to test out your file before you release it out to the world, uh, but you probably want to test it on your iPad as well, but 99.9% .9 of the time, if it works here, it's going to work on someone's iPad and any of those applications as well. So first thing to know is one, you want to download the uh, PDF that goes with today, which is just a place for you to take notes on how to edit the digital daily digital planner. And I'm assuming you're not ready to edit it right this minute, but you may want to watch the tutorial, take some notes, so you don't have to watch it all again from scratch. Um, if you do not have the Digital Daily Planner, you can purchase it uh, for this week only for 50% off. So go ahead and use the discount code Daily Digital 50, or if you download this sheet and you click this link, it will automatically apply the discount for you. So we're gonna go through all six of these questions today. How do you change the cover? How do you change tab text? How do you edit images in a digital planner file in InDesign? How do you add pages? How do you delete pages? Pages, how do you save your custom file? Now, when you go into Podia and your dashboard, if you already purchased this, you will see all of these files in your zip file. When you un well, you'll see the zip file, and then when you unzip it, you'll get this older IDML version. Like I always say, the IDML version, I have no idea if that works for digital planners because this is just such an old version. Um, so make sure you're using the INDD. Uh, there also, this PDF, you can actually use this just as is. Like it is ready to go and sell. You don't have to make any changes. It works perfectly uh, if you don't want to make any customizations. And then over here, links is all our all of the images that are inside of that folder in case you open the file and it says can't find a link just look inside of here and it should be right there all right so let's go ahead and open up this file i'm just going to give you a lay of the land on where, how this file is organized and then we'll answer that first question on how you change the cover so over here um, this file is split into master pages here at the top and regular pages at the bottom now there are a lot of master pages because that is how digital planner files work in adobe indesign so if you don't see that just go to window and make sure there is a check mark in front of pages now if you do not know how to use master pages i highly recommend you watch my video on master pages i think it's like five minutes it's so fast and so quick um, but it just will explain the concept of master pages uh, which are basically like a watermark if you're used to microsoft word it's kind of the same thing and you can overlay new information on top of it so for example you know what master page is applied to each page in your file which is below this imaginary line you can move it up and down however you want and scroll within each section but the top is always the master pages so over here i can see that 1c which is up here 1c january friday saturday sunday has been applied to this page obviously over here 1a has been applied because 1a is monday tuesday which obviously the week goes friday saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday etc so one means that it's january that's the month and a means the first two days of the week b means the second two and c means the third uh, the next three days of the week. And this is pretty much how the master file is set up in the regular printable PDF, the non-digital version, if you have that as well. So let's just jump in here. Uh, so what is editable? So if you click on something and you can't edit it, that's probably because it's in the master pages. So if I, this is 1C, so if I go up to 1C, I can see that this 1C page right here has pretty much the whole page already laid out for you. The only thing missing is this section here what tells you what day today is on the top and the bottom. So if I go into this file, I can see that these are editable because those are really the only things that are not master page items. If you want to change the color of this or anything else, you'll have to go into that actual master page. But basically, I've created a Monday, Tuesday, a Wednesday, Thursday, and a Friday, Saturday, Sunday for every single month. So you're going to see February 
has all three. March has all three, and that's because the colors have changed, and obviously the hyperlinks uh, and those tabs have moved. Remember, this is all smoke and mirrors. Um, you are the magic behind making those tabs happen. So if you changed any of this, it's going to change the pages that have those master pages applied to it. So let's go ahead and answer the first question, which is how do you change, whoops, how do you change the cover? So just like the other file, it's super easy on how to change the cover. All you have to do, so you want to make sure that you know that this is a coil, right? Remember I said it's all smoke and mirrors. Um, and this is the actual planner that you're going to change, this cover right here. If you want to just change the text on here and say my fabulous planner or something, um, you can do that over here and we can even change the size so it all fits. I can move it around. Um, I could say uh, 20, I don't know what else you'd say other than 2021, but maybe you want to just change the font. You don't like the text of font I've chosen. You want, hey, bombshell. You think that's a prettier font or whatever font you have installed on your computer. Um, this image right here, you can replace it with any other image that you want. So I could just hit the delete key right now. Um, again, like I said, this isn't my computer. I don't have another file to swap into you here. But, you know, if you've taken the my free Adobe InDesign 101, you'll know you can just go to file place and then just place any other file on top of here. Um, so that is the answer to question number one. So how do you change the tab text? So the tab text, like I said, if you try to click on any of these tab texts to change it, you're not going to be able to. And that's because all of the tab text is in a master file. I'm sorry, a master page. So the master pages are at the top. So if I want to change this and let's say I don't like January, I want it to say month one. Uh, maybe I want this to say month two, etc. So I will have to then go through obviously each single uh, master page that I see over here and I will have to rename name this 02, I'll have to rename this 03, etc. all the way down and I'll have to keep doing that over and over and over again through all of those master pages if I want that to show up down below. So if I see that's 2A, where is 2A? Uh, 2A is applied over here. So I can see it says 02, 03, but the rest says April, May, June, and that's because I haven't applied it. Also, because I haven't made changes to like, let's say March. Um, if I go into March, it will still say March instead of 03. So that's how you change the text on those tabs. Um, you just double click and make sure, or you make sure the type tool is selected and it'll let you edit. How do you edit the images? So there's actually not a lot of images in these dated planners, and that is on purpose. Um, they're not set up like those monthly pop-up planners. These are just dates, right? So the only images you have are these little icons right here. Again, anytime you try to click something, if you can't edit it, it's probably because it's a master page. So if we go up here to the master page, um, any of the master pages, remember it won't automatically change. If I change this, it won't change it all throughout. So I'm gonna hit the delete button. And again, it's just like the, what do you call it? The, um, the cover that we wanted to change. You're just gonna go to file, place, and you're gonna place a brand new um, uh, item inside of here. Uh, but again, because it's not my file, um, well, I guess we could place something from that links folder. Uh, so uh, let's say I want to replace a barbell that's navy instead. Uh, it gives me that loaded cursor and I can place it over here and then move it around. Obviously that looks odd, it's navy, and it doesn't fit with the rest, but you get the idea on how to replace images. Now, if you wanna find your own images, I've given you all of these images, um, but if you would like to find your own images, I gave you the keywords I used. I went to Adobe Stock and Deposit Photos, and I put in the keywords productivity icons and planner icons. Um, and again, you could just replace it with text, right? So let's say you're like, uh, heck with this you know, image stuff, I'm just gonna put text here. I'm going to put the word, I don't know, um, stuff. How's that? <laughs> Got stuff I want to write here in this box. And I want that stuff to be, I really like that hay bombshell. I want it to be way, way larger because I want everybody to see it. Whoops. Now it's too large. Okay. <laughs> And I'm gonna put it up here. And I want it to be that same purple color. So I'm gonna go over here to the type tool and I'm going to select, I think it was mauve. There we go. 
Yep, mauve. So now it matches all the others. If you're not sure what color something is, all you have to do is select something that's already on the page, go up here to the type tool and see what's already selected. Um, it should, all of your swatches should be preloaded inside of there. Okay, so that's how you change images. And then how do you add and delete pages? We'll do these together. This is really easy. So to add pages, anytime you want to add a page, you're just going to come down here, not to the master page. I mean, obviously you could add a master page, that's, but that's way out of scope. Um, that's a much more advanced. Uh, if you want to add a page here, like let's say, um, why would you add a page? Let's say this is January. It's a quote. It's the month of January. But maybe you want to add something like a, like a goal setting, or maybe you want to add a monthly layout or something, right? And you want it to be before. So you just right click on that page and you go to insert pages and you say one page, and then you can decide if it goes after or before at the start of the document or the end. Um, An after page, so I want to put it before page 1.2, which is the page that I am on, and I want it to be based, you have to pick a master file. Um, let's say I want white pages only. I'm just going to go from scratch. I don't want any sort of tabs or anything on there. I'll say OK. And now it has inserted that one white page. So up here you can see that one master page. I created a white page for you with like nothing on it in case you want to put stuff in there um, or a gray background in case you want to put something else in there uh, and don't want to use these uh, predefined sort of tabular master pages that are already in here. So in here, then that's how you add pages. If you want to add extra pages where you want the tabs there, um, then you would do one of two things. Like, let's say I want to add like a month end wrap up to the end, right? But I still want all these tabs to show up. So I'm just going to right click over here and say insert. And before where I said before, this time I'm going to say after page 1.15, which is the page that I'm on. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to base it off any of the January's, it doesn't matter. I'm going to say, OK, don't worry, I'll show you how to change this. You don't want any of these elements, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to right click on here and say override all master page items. And what that does is it makes everything editable on here now. So remember before it wasn't editable because it's a master page. But once we right click and say override, now everything is up for grabs. So what you could do is you could say, you know what, I just don't want any of this text over here. So I'm just going to select all of it. Oops, maybe I'll turn on the selection tool first, not the text tool. Um, now I'll select all of it. Um, I want to leave this here. Um, I want to leave the background here. So I'm just going to hit the delete button. So now I have everything except all of that text. Same thing over here. Um, let me go over here. I'm going to highlight all of this stuff, uh, but I want to leave this pretty little thing here at the bottom. I want to leave the background and I'm going to hit uh, oh wait, I want to leave all of the months, month tabs, that was the whole point as well. So I'm going to unselect those and I'm going to hit the delete key. So now I have a clean white page on the right and a clean white page on the left. And now I can put anything I want inside of here. So that's how you add pages to the beginning, the end, the middle, etc. Now the important thing is when you add them, this section 1.0 corresponds to January. Um, this section 2 point, whatever, 2.1, 2.2, 2.3 corresponds to February. And that's kind of how the tabs, those tabular links, know what goes within which file. Uh, so try to keep that same numbering. And again, as long as you did exactly what I showed you, it should keep it. Um, if you run into any problems, you know, just start over with a clean file or just hit control Z to go back to undo whatever you did before. So I would save this version a lot if you're not that familiar with digital planner files in Adobe InDesign. Uh, just in case you need to refer to them later. So how do you delete pages? You're going to love this. This is so easy. You just highlight a page and you literally just hit the delete button. That's it. You can, on your computer, I could hit the, oh, actually, that's not true. I cannot hit the delete button on my computer because um, this is not my computer and I think it's in preferences. It's just not saved correctly. So I have to either drag and drop it to the garbage can, the trash can, or I have to hit the trash can over here and then confirm it. So that is how you delete pages. Um, over here, oh, and you don't have to worry, the numbering will automatically fix itself. So like this section goes up to what? 1.25, if I delete 1.24, it will automatically rename the last remaining page 1.24, even though I originally, I deleted the original 1.24. 
um, over here, how do you save your custom file? So now this is my new custom file. I want to save it, uh, but I need the links to work. So your first inclination, two things. One, to save your file, you can just hit save. And you, what I always do is I package the file just like I normally would. However, when you package the file, just keep in mind it's going to give you a PDF file that you cannot use. I repeat, when you do file, package, it will save all of your file information, which is what you want it to do in case you need to edit this later, but it will not save the correct PDF. It saves a printable PDF where the tabs do not work. I repeat, the tabs do not work. So in order to save this file so that it can be used with clickable links for GoodNotes, like you would expect um, here on this file where everything kind of works, and I can click around to all these different months. In order to have that type of file, you must go to File, Export. And when you go to File, Export, you are going to be able to save this in the format that is Adobe PDF Interactive. So don't choose Adobe PDF Print because that's the file that you already have when you do a file package. You want Adobe PDF Interactive and the only way to get it is by going to File, Export and changing the format. And that's the file that you would give to people in order for them to have all of those clickable tabs that you see over here. All right, that's pretty much it. So this was actually a quick video. I know when I do these live streams, it takes me an hour, mostly because I'm chit-chatting a lot in the beginning. And then because you guys are there and whenever you have comments, I'm kind of going off on tangents on random things. So hopefully this was streamlined. It was easy. You took some notes. You're all set. And I hope everyone's having a fabulous Friday. I know it's the 3rd of July, so hopefully a lot of you guys have the day off. And remember, if you would like to purchase this planner, you can do so using this code to get 50% off. And the nice thing too is this planner is different than the original because I, for each new section, I did to make the pages just sort of even out because, you know, not every day starts on a Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever you need to start for that file to work perfectly. I added some quotes in here and page dividers. They kind of look like page dividers for each month. So here's January. Um, here's March, here's April, here's, let's jump down to the end, Oops. here's October, here's November, right? So the file's a little different in that way. And then here is the very back of the file, which is like a pseudo, um, end of the file. I know a lot of people don't do this. I think it's nice. Like it kind of gives you some closure, like, yes. I kind of feel like I used a real file, even though I know this is an iPad and or a tablet or whatever you're using. Um, but I feel like it helps keep that like normalcy of the file going. Oh, I should mention too, these fo fi file uh, folder, no, what am I trying to say? These coils, these fake coils, faux coils, that's what I'm trying to say, F-A-U-X, faux. Faux coils are, you'll notice, if you can't double click them, it's because it's on the master page. So if I go to 12B up here, I'll see that here's the coil. And now I can take the coil and I can move it. Obviously it doesn't look realistic when it's like that, right? So if I go back to 12B, it looks all wrong, but that's how you move the coil. Or I know some people were asking if they could use like a rose gold coil or a silver coil, right? So if that's your preference, you can definitely use those. I do not sell coils, just to be really clear. I do not sell coils. If you have a coil like from an old, another digital planner file that I have, you could just swap it out. Um, or if you're able to buy them on your own, you can use those as well. And oh, so the only files, so these pages that have this like faux sort of tab divider on it, and this is one where it is not on the master file, because basically what I've done is I've overridden all of the master file, uh, master page, I keep saying master file, master page items, and that's because I didn't want all of this stuff to show up, so I would overwrite it, and remember that was the override all master page items, and so I had to manually place these on each of those pages. So only any page you see a quote, or a month on, then you know that the coils are on that page and not in the master file. So that is the only difference. All right, now I think I have said everything at this point. Okay, if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comments below and I will answer them for you. All right, bye guys.